Right, I wanted to do a video uh, <clears throat> to uh, talk about, maybe help some of the people that are have been watching the boxes and calibration and not really sure what's going on. And, and then I also wanted to take another look at the lumens on AC uh, of these foreign bulbs. Uh, let me go ahead and turn on a little light here. I've got one of these foreign bulbs sitting there. All right, there we go. So that's one of them on AC. Um, and I basically, there's some 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 things that kind of drew attention to, to possibly not being 80 lumens um, on AC. So I want I, I'll, I'll talk about those more. So initially, I want to just try to help maybe people that, that aren't sure how to calibrate or what what's going on or what the calibration means. Try to explain that um, a little bit. And basically. When you start off with your, you know, aluminum foil line box, you've got your sensor mounted in there and everything. You want to make sure you get, you know, this is Professor Physics physics prop uh, box and and uh, method of calibration, and it can be very accurate. Okay, so um, you want to get bulbs of known wattage and known lumens to start. Like there's a 13 watt, 825 lumens. Uh, we have 13 watt, 900 lumens. 60 watt uh, incandescent and 100 watt incandescence um, and there's some daylights over there um, and basically those were what physics prop used you know the the couple different compacts couple different incandescents and what you want to do then is you want to plug them in and ensure that you know they are drawing the 13 watts that they're rated for and either adjust with a variac down if you're over voltage you know or derate the the lumens a little bit um, if you're, uh, you know, under voltage like I tend to be. And um, as an example then, we'll take this bulb of 825 lumens. If you throw it in your box and you have a watt meter showing 13 watts being drawn and you know it's 825 lumens stamped and your meter showing say 4,000 lux, you then take your uh, rated lumens and divide that by your shown lux and that gives you a decimal number and this is the calibration factor that we talk about or conversion factor we talk about um, and and you want to do multiple tests with multiple bulbs and multiple bulb types to see that that in fact you end up with similar numbers here on your calibration to ensure that you're getting correct results um, just just more or less a verification um, and that's some of the things that I had done first too um, again you know here's the 60 watts um, and then 100 watts and then compacts the two different kinds of compacts there and and you know you, you'll find that with most of these the the conversion ratios ended up being you know very close um, to the same both with the compacts uh, and the incandescents warm whites and um, I even found with my box like here you know uh, you know 0.2 and with two bulbs it's 0.203 um, the compacts here were at, you know, right around 0.2 with one bulb, 0.2 with four bulbs, 0.206 with five bulbs, so 0.206 here with four bulbs of a different brand. So I found very little variation even with bulb numbers. Um, and, and I believe my assumption there was is that the, the, the box is large enough in the way that I inset the sensor that the, the point where the sensor is picking up light is to be even. And if it's even and I'm not losing light or blocking light, then my conversion factor or calibration should work out to be the same or relatively regardless of the number of bulbs, you know, and, and in most cases it does. So I found, like I said, all these bulbs ended up being pretty close so I could develop my .201 calibration. Now anybody that remembers my old channel, uh, you know, I use the Utilitech 7.5 watt warm daylights. So that was the, the next bulb that I said, okay, the system's calibrated, here we go. Well, I found that uh, if you look here, 850 lumens is showing around 4,000 4, lux. And I plug in a 490 lumen bulb and it's showing not too far off from 4,000 lux. Well, we know it's not 700 lumens and it was, it was you know, it's drawing the exact power. So... 490 lumens, I found that, okay, wow, we have a different calibration factor that, again, stayed very consistent throughout numbers of bulbs and uh, was a full 25% different than what I'd found with all the other incandescents and things. So that made me think, okay, 
every different bulb I'm going to have to develop a calibration for to get accurate numbers. And I also wondered then what, make, what makes this number so much different. Was it the fact that these were LEDs versus compacts or was it that these were daylight? So I tried, of course, warm white, same brand Utilitex, just warm white instead of dim, uh, daylights, and I find, okay, it goes up. So LEDs, though, are less than what I'm showing with compacts and incandescents. So I tried daylight compacts. Um, the blue guys over there, I actually have two brands and did two attempts. And daylight compacts end up being 0.177. So, even lower yet. Um, and again, I have tested the feats and things. <clears throat> so, what that has proven then is that with all the different kinds that I've tested here, you know, I've got a variation in calibration factors from 0 0.201, um, the 100 watts of the oil that ends up this high. So, 0 0.201 to about 0 0.156. In all cases, it seems that the lower Kelvin warm whites will be a higher conversion ratio and that a higher Kelvin daylight will be a lower conversion ratio. It also seems to hold true that incandescence and compacts will give you a higher net calibration factor and LEDs will give you a lower net calibration factor. And so this is what I look for and what to expect with tuning a new bulb both to fit in this range and also to apply with these rules here. Now what then does calibration factor do for you? Well if we're assuming a thousand lux on a meter and you're and these are different calibration factors it ends up relating to how many lumens you're, show, you're assuming per lux on the meter or how many lux in this case per lumen. So if your calibration was 0.4 we'd be thinking 400 lumens, at 0.3 we'd think 300 lumens, and 0.2 we'd think it's 200 lumens, and 0.1 we'd think it's 100 lumens, and if it was 0.5 for our calibration we'd be assuming this is 50 lumens. So you can see then that the, the, this factor is going to play a large point perspective in what you end up thinking is your lumens, and then you divide that by your wattage, and, and so your, your net efficiency. So that this tends to be pretty critical. Um, so when everybody's doing that establishment, I would recommend, you know, calibrating different types. And once you get some different types to ensure your box is right, then go ahead and, um, uh, you know, calibrate each, each each condition for what you what you want when we have known lumens. And again, this applies the the two watt fates were 0.199. Um, so every, everything I've tested is in this range. Okay, so that should help with the with the explanation there. Um, and then what I want to go to here is what what we've shown here. We were you know we're using a calibration. One of the things that was a flag for me was a calibration of 0.282, okay, well and above the expected range. We're also using LEDs, so I was expecting a number below two, and these are daylight, so this should be below two. So the 2.82 was a flag for me. Um, assuming 80 lumens uh, on, on the 110 and then as well I ran the um, the modded bulb if you remember here where I was assuming 350 lumens um, for the 6 watts I actually ran that side by side with these where we're assuming 450 lumens um, and, and this was obviously brighter um, so that was another flag to recheck the 80 lumen um, start point. So again then what we have here is the the numbers, let's get the stuff that's relevant here together. Okay, so we'll use these. Here's the lux that I'd shown, 290, 580, uh, and 850 for one, two, and three bulbs. 850 lux and um, we need to determine how many lumens these are outputting and um, so uh, I, I have, it's really handy, we have these 2 watt feats that are 150 lumens. So we should get an idea if these are in fact 80 lumens a piece, we should show, you know, a similar lumens. Now on, on the calibration here I show, you know, uh, you know between 7 to 725 to 750 depending on box placement. 
uh, at 150 lum uh, lumens ends up being 725, 750. And again, the calibration on this is 0.199, and we should be a little lower, okay? So my lumens, or my lux on my meter, should be above this for 150 lumens, okay? But we're, the only thing I can base off of is what I got here, so we'll go from this. So we can assume 150 lumens is 725 on the meter. Okay, now we have 850 lux here. Let's go ahead and do a run and, and, and find out um, what we've got. And the reason we're doing all this, in every other case, we have known wattage on the package and known lumens. These bulbs are dimmable, but they're for 220 volts. And, and uh, I don't, physics prof and I both don't assume that the claim 252 lumens at 1.5 watts is, is actually what these are going to do. So we're running these on an improper voltage and we also then have an unknown lumens. So it's a little different now than what we've had to deal with in the past where, where lumens is always known. Um, so again we do have an error margin. However, let's see what we can come up with. So clip on the meter 1x light box hooked up. I have three sockets in the three locations. And what we'll do, I'll go ahead and unplug this light and put us in the dark here a little bit uh, so that I can get the testing done and we'll see. So the first thing we'll do is we'll plug in one of these fates into the box here and see what we show see if we're in the same range as where and one bulb I always put in the middle so there's 150 lumens uh, now this is warm white not daylight look a little different color so 728 725. Okay, 150 lumens. Um, and that'll vary a little bit. We can screw in another bulb here and see if there's a variation. Bulb 2. Just going to switch bulbs and see if there's a variation in bulbs. Just slightly, a little higher, about the same. Okay, so bulbs are consistent. All right, now let's see what we get then with one of the these. So the number we want to hit for 150 lumens is 725, and according to our most forgiving calibration using the highest calibration factor we have of 0.2 it should take two of these bulbs to hit 150 actually 160 lumens if we're assuming these to be 80 lumens on AC so there's one bulb 276 which is a bit lower than I showed again we're gonna run with higher numbers because that'll help the bulb more one bulb running mm. Okay, so we're not at 150 lumens yet. Two should do it. If they're 80 lumens a piece, this should be at least 725, and it should be over it because of the daylight. Oh, nope. 528. So two bulbs is not 150 lumens yet. Okay, let's throw the third ball in. Oh gosh, I'm running out of time. Okay, and there's our eight eight fifty. So we're slightly above the. Um, we're slightly above the 725, so we are producing more than 
150 lumens and I'll have to continue this in a minute. 